Um, thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak at this event um, and uh, for inviting me to give some first remarks. Um, I want to start with uh, the, the measure of uh, respect given to minority rights uh, is an indication of how a state treats all human rights. Your human rights, our human rights, all human rights. And when the rights of LGBTI are not treated well, there's something wrong in the entire society. And unfortunately, around the world, over 70 countries still criminalize homosexuality. And in almost seven of them, there's a death penalty on uh, homosexuals. So that's why the Netherlands works tirelessly for equal rights for LGBTI. And we do that by... There's an echo in the diet. Uh, we do that by um, focusing on decriminalization of homosexuality, uh, by combating discrimination and violence against uh, LGBTI, and by promoting social acceptance. And there are several tools that we use to uh, achieve these uh, ambitious goals. Um, we use diplomacy with diplomats. Um, we uh, bring up human rights in our uh, bilateral meetings with other countries, with uh, uh, bilateral talks. Uh, we also go to multilateral institutions, the European Union, United Nations, and others. And last year, we also uh, created a new coalition of countries, the Equal Rights Coalition. Uh, and that's an alliance of 35 uh, countries, um, not just the Europeans, but uh, the, the Canadians, the Americans, but also Chile, uh, Argentina, to make a powerful voice uh, to promote equal rights for LGBTI. And an example is, uh, you probably all have heard about the, the, the horrific violations in Chechnya earlier this year. And in, in that situation, this coalition came together and brought out a statement of 35 countries and asked for an uh, investigation, which, well, the Russian authorities have indicated they would do. And that's something we still keep a close eye on to see if they do it correctly. And next to these diplomatic efforts, we do a lot of other stuff. We uh, um, support a lot of organizations, national organizations. We work together with CSC Netherlands. Uh, we work with international uh, civil society organizations, but also local organizations. Because we think that local stakeholders, local activists, are the best people to know what's needed in a certain country. I mean, uh, Iran is a totally different situation from Indonesia. Uh, so we work together with these local actors and ask them, okay, what do you need? Do you need a safe place to have meetings? Uh, do you need us to support pride events? Uh, do you need finances to build up uh, an organization? Uh, and when these human rights activists, especially in these countries where it's quite a harsh life, need some rest because they're overworked, they're doing it vol uh, as volunteers, we also uh, have an opportunity to bring a uh, human rights defender to the Netherlands for three months to give them some air, to give them uh, trainings, to give them a network, but basically to give them some rest from the hard work they're doing um, to promote equal rights. Now, as I said, we also support Pride events, and well, that's a link to the event today. Um, Ambassadors of the Netherlands have joined Pride in Belgrade, in Hanoi, and other countries to show our political support. Um, police are a lot less um, afraid to protect these Pride if also international ambassadors walk along the local activists. Luckily, that's not a problem in the Netherlands, but in a lot of other countries, we, uh, the police are not always or sometimes hesitant to protect uh, uh, these activists. And Every year I see the discussion in the Netherlands, but also elsewhere, on the need of uh, a pride, a gay pride, pride, whatever the name is uh, nowadays. But there's a uh, discussion about do we still need such an event? And I can give a lot of objective arguments on why it's necessary, about, uh, about visibility, about advocacy, advocacy um, uh, about having uh, well-being support of allies. Um, but let me approach it from a more personal uh, experience. Uh, seven years ago, I had the pleasure of um, um, uh, participating in the canal parade uh, of the Amsterdam Gay Pride for the first time. And I wish every person that is critical of such, such an event would have the same experience that I had back then, seven years ago. I mean, the, uh, the moment when you're on one of the boats, um, Canal Parade having to lower your head for one of the many, many bridges 
that she pass under and then suddenly when well, when you rise again hopefully not too soon but when you rise again suddenly are surrounded by so many people uh, straight gay cis trans all kinds of other people uh, celebrating the basic principle of being able to live the life you like um, yeah it, it's it's amazing and still every every time I can participate it, it's amazing and even in the Netherlands if we would reach through social acceptance, which we haven't, also not in the Netherlands. Um, um, this celebration of diversity matters. And especially for those people, those participants around the world, where they're less fortunate when it comes to acceptance in their own society. Especially for those participants, such a pride event um, uh, means a lot. So, let me conclude. There's still a lot of work to be done. Um, in the same year that Malta, Germany, and well, hopefully soon Australia will um, move towards marriage equality, uh, LGBTI persons in other countries around the world are still facing more prejudice, more prosecution, new laws against LGBTI. And we need activists and organizations like the ones in, uh, in this room to well, continue the fight uh, for this good cause. And the main reason is, well, it's also stated in the, the first article of the Universal Declaration on Human Rights. It states clearly, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and in rights. It doesn't say anything about special rights, it says everyone's equal. And that's what we're fighting for. So, I wish the organization of Iran Pride uh, a lot of success in the activities also in, in the summer and, and way beyond. And thank you for your attention. Thank you.